ACE College of Engineering, Thiruvallam, Thiruvananthapuram. Sir, what is your uh, vision about the KTU and how do we, how do we uh, intend to achieve these objectives? Kerala Technological University is formulated to unify the technical education system in the state. So we have around 161 plus two new institute that was granted of, uh, uh, approval this year by the AICT. So we have 163 institute. Out of that 163 institute, uh, K, uh, there are 154 institute which will come under the purview of Kerala Technological University. So all the technological institutions will come under the common umbrella of Kerala Technological University. Our aim is to upgrade the quality of those institute and make them a world class level. So if you consider uh, the 679 universities in the country, none of them figure in the top 200 in the world class universities. So last year a survey was published by the Time magazine. So in that Time magazine, none of the universities in, in India is listed in the first 200 universities. If you see that uh, the countries like China, Hong Kong, all that, so those countries having the world class universities, but we do not have. So KTU is aim is to make in Kerala, Kerala Technological University as a world class university by improving the quality and standards. So now at Ministry of HRD is also talking about the credit based system, how this uh, credit, based cho credit based choice based system is going uh, to be beneficial for the students. Actually, so the credit system is in place in Kerala. So in all the universities, so there is in place credit based system, but it is not in the real sense. So what we are doing right now is we are allocating a particular credit to a particular subject. So this is not the case. So actual credit system is implemented in foreign universities as well as the uh, IITs. So that the actual credit system is implemented in KTU. So a particular, the real credit is assigned to a particular subject. So and we are also giving a choice to the student so that he can select a particular su subject. Uh, we are also thinking in the core as well as the electives. If a particular student has a choice to select, he want to select a particular uh, subject, he can opt for that. So that uh, facility is also made available in this uh, academic curriculum of KTU. Sir, uh, does KTU support the transfer of credits from other colleges and universities? Actually, uh, in whatever the uh, academic ordinance issued by the uh, Kerala Technological University, we have the credit transfer facilities. Whatever the credits earned in universities like uh, what uh, the prominent universities, we will take those credits and we are also ready to transfer those credits. So only the issue is that there is somebody to accept those credits. So that credit transfer system is perfectly available in KTU's academic curriculum. Sir, the KTU is talking about the cluster based uh, uh, system. Can you please elaborate on that? This of is course. a new concept which is coming. So that concept was uh, discussing in the MHRD, Ministry of Human Resource Development and Government of India. So they are given directives to the institutes and the institutions in the country that academic autonomy must be there in institutions. So in case of this academic autonomy, this is the first stage. So what we, we ultimately, we are planning to give academic autonomy to the institute itself. Each institute should have the facility to develop their own curriculum, their own syllabus, conduct the examination, publish the result. This is what our idea. What our, so in order to achieve that, so, if, uh, so you, you must be knowing that in Kerala scenario, what is happening. So, in order to achieve that the quality must be there. Yes, so what we have done is instead of giving directly autonomy to a particular institute, uh, we have taken a cluster of colleges say in Trivandrum district or in Calicut district. We have taken a cluster of colleges and uh, a group of colleges and formed a cluster. So there will be a chairman to that cluster that will be appointed by the university. So normally that chairman will be an eminent professor from a national institute. It can be from an IAT or an NIT or an IAS or an eminent professor from, from the national level institute or an eminent faculty. So the university will appoint that chairman and a particular person, the principal of an uh, engineering college in that cluster member will be the convener. So that will be rotated among all the cluster members of that college. So 
initial stage what we have done is we have given that academic autonomy to the postgraduate level. So, wherever their MTech is there and MBA is there and MCA is there. So, those courses are given academic autonomy. So, those uh, so course syllabus curriculum everything can be designed by that institute itself, but that uh, curriculum and all those things by will be vetted by that cluster committee. The university uh, make maintain the academic quality in these clusters. What we have done is we have given certain directives. We have published the scheme. The uh, this cluster can go ahead with within the framework of this scheme, and we have published the MTA that postgraduate ordinance also. So a particular institute can go ahead with the formation of uh, syllabus curriculum within this framework okay. okay they can formulate only so we have specified minimum guidelines so we will not dilute with that minimum guidelines the institute can add up and go ahead with whatever the possible way they want so only to so that is what we have appointed a chairman as an eminent faculty from a national level institute to ensure the quality it should the quality should not be diluted conditions are possible Relations that's what so they have to work within the framework of the kerala technological university but they can do whatever they want in academic to enhance the quality there is a fear among feeling among the students uh, about the admission process and about the examination process Thanks. so how does the ktu facilitate the ex when, uh, it will prevent the exodus of the students from uh, kerala to other neighboring states no right now so we have uh, as i told we have 163 engineering colleges in the state we are having around 63302 undergraduate seats in kerala mm -hmm. but what happens is most of those seats are remains vacant why this is because the uh, uh, admission cri uh, admission process in kerala is little delayed so that's what happens the students to select the neighboring institutes. So, they are having a fear that whether we will get admission here in good colleges or something like that. So, what they do is they will go to uh, neighboring uh, states and get admission there. So, here the admission process is little bit delayed because of uh, the entrance examination and the publishing of plus two result and publishing of CBSE result and all those. But there is a Supreme Court guideline that uh, the admission process will be started from August 1st first itself but this year uh, the government of kerala has taken initiative to make the entrance results will be published very soon so they will uh, make this admission criteria very soon so that that supreme court guidelines will be met, met. and also what uh, ktu ktu has uh, given a lot of uh, recommendation to the government so what 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 will be the uh, admission criteria and what will be the um, admission process and uh, when it, it should start and when it should end something like that we were given to the uh, uh, government also. So, uh, so, in our new curriculum, so there is a lot of things are included in the Kerala technology university, it is an outcome, outcome based syllabus, it is not simply mugging up uh, those textbook and all those things right now examination, students are given full freedom that whatever they want to study they can study. So, it is purely outcome based lesson. We are also going to have an open book examination. Okay. So, so that uh, so engineering is not a subject that should for mug up and all those. So, this is it is to dispel the fear among them that the examination that process is difficult. Yeah. It is not at all. Uh, and another issue in Kerala is that the publishing of the results from the different universities. Mm -hmm. It is getting very much delayed of a lot of reasons in the university. If you take any of the universities in Kerala, if you have an examination uh, today, it, the result will come only after 6 months or something like that. So, that the publication of result is much delayed in Kerala. So, that we have to eliminate. So, for that what care Kerala Technological University has done is that Kerala Technological University will publish the result within 5 days of the last examination. So, everything is online. So, KTU will work in an online system. So, examination will be an online. So, and the answer uh, script valuation will be an online. So, everything will be made online. KTU is complete a paperless office. So, uh, within a span of few years, it will be become a digital one. Sir, uh, regarding placements, how can a KTU facilitate the placement drive among the member colleges? Yeah, we have uh, already discussed with the placement offices. Now, what happens in the placement is that uh, the good companies, they will select certain colleges. There are certain colleges in the state that performs well. So, those companies will go to 
that particular institute also okay so others were not getting those, those those chances now what we are doing is what we have planned is that we will uh, invite the companies to kerala technological universities to conduct the placement drive not to the institute they should not go to the institute instead of that the students who are eligible for placement should apply in a particular portal so the drives will be conducted in different regions but based on ktu initiative not for a particular institute so uh, it is it will uh, be a university initiative instead right, of college colleges so that all the students mm. in the state will get the chance so that's what we are going sir uh, there will be a year out scheme in the ktu so it is not year out system there is no year out system because it is credit based yeah it is credit based there is no year out and the students they are not able to ah, that is what so in case of there is a particular credit is assigned a particular semester say 40 credits are required in particular semester the student should earn a minimum number of credits then only he is permitted to go to the next semester but here uh, as i said earlier he is getting a lot of chances to complete those credits so initially the semester is for initial 6 months or for a so minimum uh, that uh, criteria is there the attendance and all those things and the working hours and all those things so when he completes those things what happens is initially he will get a chance of writing the university examination so within 5 days we will publish the result so again one more chance is given for him to write the supplementary examination he is getting an immediate chance so he don't need to wait 6 months or 1 year so he is immediately getting a particular chance within one week to come so to you know, pass uh, to complete the subject and after that so that after first semester he is completing two chances in this summer semester also in april may vacation so he will getting one more chance to clear those things so this uh, scheme will so normally an average student there will not be a fear of that year out and all this i think definitely he can clear those minimum credits required sir there may be some year out students from other universities how will the ktu accommodate them so uh, year out system means whatever be the present students continuing in the other universities those students will continue with the concerned universities itself see those students are admitted in that universities will continue with that university in case of that first year we are talking about if a first year student those are year out they can register with kerala technological university as a new student in the 1560 there is no issue with that thing that student can register as a new student along with the semester 1 student of the 1560 they can they will be they have to cancel those registration with the other universities they will continue with the kerala technological universities so there will not be an issue with those who are year out in this year subsequent years subsequent year will not come here itself because that will be dealt by that university itself mm. so there will be uh, a particular stu- uh, student is going uh, that some st- uh, year is going on there so that will come there itself so only those students who can admit into the first semester can come here 2014 15 batch right suppose any student is year out now they can accommodate uh, they can get first year in the first year Fine. but suppose they they go to the second year and then they are year out because the year out scheme exists in kerala university okay uh, so then how will they join in the second year of ktu no they cannot join in the second year of ktu yes. that is an issue they have to complete those things uh-huh. and write the examination in kerala okay. university itself okay. they cannot come to ktu KTU admits only the students from first sum onwards. How is KTU making the syllabus? It is more theory oriented or practical oriented. KTU has formulated a syllabus purely outcome based. After studying a particular subject, the student should learn what he has to do by learning that subject. So he he should not simply mug up those theories and all those things. He should learn what is the outcome of that thing. So that is how the syllabus is framed right now. And what we have done is. there uh, practical is given much orientation so that is what is shown in the syllabus so now the practic we will not conduct the university will not conduct any examinations on practicals so that will be left to the institute and the faculties and the students so there is freedom to the institute they can uh, conduct whatever the practicals they want so, but within the framework of the university the uni- university has set up a minimum guidelines so the institute can do whatever they want so institute has to mold the children to uh, make this as a utilize this facility 
and to make this an outcome based. So, what about the research activities under KTU? The research activities are lacking in Kerala. Okay. So, there is a lot of hurdles for registering for a PhD student in Kerala. Okay. So, in a, so, this university concept you are having, so there will be a research center, so a lot of guides will be available, so the guides will be of these criteria and all those things, so that is there. But the Kerala Technological University is coming with a new concept. Awesome. So, so, we have already formulated the draft research guidelines that will be available in the website very soon. So, what we have doing is, if a particular person wanted to do the research, he has to identify the guide, okay. That student and guide has to go to that cluster. We have already formed the different clusters, okay. He has to apply for that cluster. Say in Ace College of Engineering, if a particular person wanted to do the research, that student has to go to the principal and he has to identify the guide also. Along with that, he has to, up, uh, through the institute, he has to apply to the cluster. So, that cluster decides whether that particular research scholar is eligible to do research under that guide in Ace College of Engineering. So, there is no particular research center designated. Every affiliating institute will be treated as research centers. So, if the facility is there in that institute, if the facility is there in the Ace College of Engineering, that anybody can do research in Ace College of Engineering. So, in case of computers and IT, there is no uh, specific so facility is required. So, so they can do. Cluster, you mean that MTech cluster that we have formed? Yes. MTech, so, they have to, the MTech cluster has to approve that guide and student. Even if that college does not fall under that cluster? No, that uh, that will fall. Definitely, we will make. So uh, initially, the cluster is made for M Tech. Okay. So that will be uh, uh, elaborated to UG cluster also. So this is only initial to make the make. Uh, so PG cluster is formed only to make the syllabus and all those things because we have to start the class. Yes. So we are going to form the UG cluster also. So this. Uh, so, you will be become part of, if there is no PG conducts in a particular institute, you will become part of the Trivandrum cluster. There is no issue in that. So, you, uh, we are forming the UG, a common cluster also. So, there is no issue of that thing. So, uh, suppose in Ace College of Engineering, a faculty wanted to do part time research. So, that is possible. So, only required is that, the, that cluster permission is required. Cluster will go through that guide, that student research scholar and is subject, topic and they will evaluate all those things, but the quality will not be compromised. So, the uh, cluster will decide. So, he has to go through these number of courses and he has to, uh, the, uh, the research will be published in particular journal, sure. something like that. So, that tri criteria, the cluster will, cluster means the group of principles. See, cluster means that group of principles. So, that principles will decide this particular student is eligible to do research, so they can do. So, uh, so we will encourage part time because we are lacking a lot of uh, research facilities in Kerala. We do not have PhD, uh, P, uh, PhD persons in Kerala. So, that we are uh, coming out with a very elaborative research uh, guidelines. Our aim is to make minimum 100 PhDs in a year. So, that is the first area and we are also going to give uh, financial assistance to those selected students who are doing research in under Kerala Technological University. So, this persons will be given a minimum uh, grant from the Kerala Technological University. That fund is also there in the Kerala Technological University. Uh, looking into the good climatic conditions, social conditions here in the state, how are we planning to attract the students from other states and countries? Kerala is having a, an emblem that Kerala is a God's own country. Yeah. So, so that we have to utilize that thing. Mm -hmm. So, if you look at Bangalore or Hyderabad. So, in Karnataka, there are 16,000 students from different outside countries. different countries studying there. Yes. Why can't we? That is a minimum question. Yes, so, uh, at the uh, beginning of the Kerala Technological University, the um, Vice Chancellor and ourselves has initiated this process and we have called certain uh, institutes and uh, management institute and we have asked them to form a group and go, uh, go ahead with this group. So, AICT is providing a facility is that an institute can admit students under uh, PAO category. So, in that category, we can admit foreign nationals. So, this PAO category is over and above approved intake. So, if you are having 60 approved intake, you can admit 9 student, 9 foreign students under that category. So, we have formed a committee and we have instructed those institute, you have to apply for 
AICT for getting PIO approved, it is very easy procedure and some of the institute got approval for PIO and they are now going abroad for admitting those students. So, Kerala is having a very potential for getting the foreign, foreign students because uh, the education in outside country is very uh, expensive. very expensive and all those things. So, that we can utilize. If we get a minimum number of 5 students in a particular batch, those students, using those students, we will get the next student. So, we have to utilize those things and we have to bring the students from other countries as well as other states. So, it is a very good initiative. We welcome all these steps taken by the university. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank you, I wish every success Thank to you. ACE College of Engineering. Thank Actually, ACE College of Engineering is conducting a lot of good initiatives in quality improvement. Recently, you have formed a quality uh, assurance cell uh, in the institute and I uh, have seen that uh, US students are performing well in academics. US students are also uh, presented uh, papers in uh, good academic conferences like Kerala uh, Science, Science Congress and all those things. So, it is a very good initiative. So, your principalship is very actually it is yeah. useful to the institute. So we need your blessings. Really, I wish every, every success to the students, faculties and the institute. ACE College of Engineering, Thiruvallam, Thiruvananthapuram.